Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube video. Um, in this video I'm going to show you how to up upgrade your Vodafone phone to the latest firmware using keys. So this video demonstration is um, aimed at Vodafone UK customers. However, however, it will be the same process if you're on O2, Orange or any other network. Okay. So if you want to use keys to up, upgrade your firmware, the first thing you want to do is obviously start up keys. Okay. Now I've already got keys started on my desktop, which is there. Now the next thing you want to do is connect your connect your phone to your PC. It's also worth mentioning it's better to do a, a factory a factory data reset prior to upgrading and um, once your new firmware is flashed onto your phone um, I would advise to do a, another factory data reset. Now as you can see there um, I've plugged my Galaxy into keys and Keys is showing me that there's a, a firmware update. Okay, if we just have a a little look at that, the, the light in here is terrible tonight, but I'll do my best to um, let you see. Now that your phone's plugged in, what you want to do is um, click up update. It's probably also best to take your SIM card out. I can't remember if I took mine out and prior to making this but if you can take your SIM card out as well just to save any information getting lost um, it's never been lost for me in the past but just to be safe so anyway we'll now click upgrade um, Samsung will just give you a little bit of information it's telling you to make sure that your battery is fully charged before upgrading which really goes without saying uh, my battery is um, fully charged. So if you just read through the list of um, things that it tells you there and and just tick um, I have read all the above information if we come out you'll be able to see that and then finally if we come out a little more finally click start upgrade. Now what will happen is Samsung keys should automatically put your phone into download mode and um, we'll just OK that again and it's now going through the going through the process so this phone down here should start going into download mode complete And as you can see there, if we move back up, it's not went into download mode yet. I don't use keys, so that's how I'm having to swing back and forward. You can see there, keys is pushing the, the firmware upgrade onto the phone. And um, the firmware upgrade that keys is pushing is 2.2.1. If you're a non-branded customer, you will obviously get the updates first um, but if you happen to to be a branded customer on Vodafone O2 Orange then it will take you a little bit longer to get the the firmware upgrade because Vodafone and all the other companies they like to add their little tweaks to it before it gets um, released Okay. So now hopefully the phone the phone should go into into download mode. If we move back down to the phone. And we'll just wait on that to to um, go into download mode. Okay, well we're still wait, waiting on it to go in. 
but if we go back up to the computer screen now you can see that it's pushing more information into the phone I mean as you can tell I don't use keys so this is all new this is all new to me but I thought that I would just make a a keys up upgrade video just for the people that are on branded handsets so what we'll do is we'll, we'll just pause that there at the moment and we'll come back to it once it's loaded up a little bit longer that's us just over the halfway mark now so um, that's been a, at least three or four minutes already so I reckon there's still at least five minutes to go and now our phone has went into download mode so what it's doing now is um, the phone is now loading up with the 2.2.1 firmware from Vodafone so this process will take a few minutes um, to load right up so it's probably a good time to to make yourself a cup of tea and you can see the the progress bar is moving as well Right, that's us almost um, loaded up with the new Vodafone firmware. So once that reaches 100%, the phone should then reboot. And once it comes round, you'll be back on to the latest um, Vodafone ROM. I don't know if you can see there, but the phone's starting to to load up the files the light in here is not very good tonight but the phone's now rebooting and if we move in a little bit oh that's moving out you can now see that our phone is on the It's on the latest firmware. And that's it. It's starting to come round. So this boot will probably take a few minutes. And once it's boot booted up, um, I would give it a minute or two and then um, what I normally do is once it's finished booting up is I perform a factory data reset and basically all this does is it flushes out the remainder of the previous ROM that was on the phone um, before you do all this it's, it's a good idea to back up all your contacts your um, text messages um, if you've got any pictures stored on the internal SD card it's probably a good idea to to back them up as well me personally I use a an external SD card so every picture that I take is automatically stored on the external card and as you can see there that's the phone rebooted so we can unplug our we can unplug our lead because we don't need that anymore. Um, we'll just let the the media scanner run before we start touching it. You know, that just lets it go through its its little process. Media scanner now complete. So we'll just check that we're on 
the latest ROM, I'm just touching my settings again. Okay. The light is quite bad, isn't it? Settings. About phone. There we go. I don't know if you can if you can make that out. I'm trying to get it without the light the light getting in the road. But the build number is Froyo dot B U J S three. Um the base band is B U S B U J S one and the firmware is Froyo two point two point one. Well, that's it folks. That's how you upgrade your your Vodafone phone to um, the latest firmware. So like I say, once you've done that, you've set your phone back up. It's a good idea just to do a factory data reset on the phone. You can do it within the phone's menu and you can also do it by putting the phone into recovery manually by pressing volume up, home and power key all at the same time when the writing comes up you can just switch the take your fingers off the switches and then just toggle down to perform or wipe data factory reset press your home key and it will just tell you that it it's going to delete all your user, da user data. We'll OK that. And I normally wipe cache partition as well. OK that. And if you want, you could format your SD card. And then once you've done that, OK it. Your phone will now boot back up. So it's just a matter of putting all your settings back in and that'll be you. I hope this has been of some use to you and keep an eye on my YouTube channel for other how-to guides on the Samsung Galaxy S. Cheerio!